Oh, good morning, good morning. Ooh, it's cold. Today's it. Today's the last day that I can get up on the roof because I have to return the scaffold today. I only have one section to get across and then I have to get the I have to get the trim and then that top plate on today. So it's going to be a lot of work. I'm going to be doing it by myself. I don't have a partner today. He's got a a minor operation on his hand. It's very little that he can do for me, but his guidance and him um, helping me with the small things were really big. But, uh, you know, he's kind of hurt and he can't do a whole lot of physical, pretty much nothing at all, but um, but he can help some and that little bit meant everything to me. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna head off and grab some coffee and relax for a minute and then I'll get to the site. <laughs> It's going to be a long day. This is gonna be a long day. Yes, I'll take it. Oh, this sucks. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yeah, I don't like this.
see what it is. You can get it up close to the house, but it's leaning like this way, you know, away from the house. So you have to put boards underneath the, the wheels in order to get it up straight where I can get to the roof. And that will lean it up against the house some more. So we got to make sure I'm further enough, un, far enough away from the house where it doesn't smash up against my roof. Get more efficient well I made a mistake the first sheet I put up there I forgot to put the gasket underneath the actual metal sheeting so bugs can get up there uh, so what I'll have to do is I do have a nice 20 foot ladder I'll come back with just some of that foam and just spray it in there and let it expand just a little bit and that will keep the bugs out <sighs> I'm sorry, I, I know you can't see much, and I'm sorry about that. I just, I gotta stay focused up there, climbing up on the roof. The last thing I wanna do is fall, trying to adjust a camera. So just bear with me. These pieces are too long to handle, and because my ridge is not perfect, it's a little bendy, um, short pieces are, are doing much better for me. No, that's not bad. Leads me about seven feet. I'll just cut this in the middle. Middle-ish. So 42 and a half. Here's 42 and a half. Up on top, if you don't get each panel perfectly straight, it's going to start coming down or going up because you have to kind of overlap them. Well, I did not get it perfectly straight, so it's starting to curve down bad. Even though I'm trying to push each panel up, it's getting to the point where it's just really bad and it's just not going to work. So the only way I can fix it, I, I believe, is by trimming some of the panel itself off. What I'm talking about is uh, this this here trimming this completely off now I would hate to do that maybe I need to consider doing it on on this side instead because this has a lip that kind of catches that helps catch any moisture that you know might fall off 
so I have to think about it. But I'm going to have to cut a strip off so I can slide it under the panel and get it to go straight again. Uh, I don't know what else to do. I think I just have... Seems like I just have two more panels to go. No. I got more panels than that. Where are my panels? What? I'm missing a panel. Hold on. Never mind. I got them all. They're just stacked one on top of the other. I have four more panels here. Maybe they give me an extra one. Let's see. Seriously, doubt it, but... Let's see how many more can go on there. Yeah, I'm going to need four. One, two, three, four. Anyway, I have to figure out what to do because uh, I'm running into a disaster. Damn. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring you up for, for some of this. Uh, okay. There's one thing I really did screw up. I didn't get it straight enough, my panels, and now they're coming out really, really bad. See here how it's starting to come down. I tried to fix it there, but it's not happening. So I have to do something drastic. What I've done is I cut a ridge like this ridge, if you can see it, cut that all the way up, cut it off of a panel so I can slide it under there smoothly and get it nice and straight and then <clears throat> drill it down. Hopefully it won't leak, have you know, vapor barrier underneath it. Oh, my vapor barrier is down there. Son of a bitch. I can do a lot of this just by sitting on my butt, which is the way I like it. Just lay down some of the insulation on top here. I'm gonna have to climb up there and staple that down. You know, it's my favorite part. Oh, I hate this. Best thing to do is just run up on it. should have got a professionals to do this but they want an ungodly and large amount of money it's gonna cost me close to four thousand dollars and I don't have that kind of money well here see how I put it underneath here Unfortunately, the OSB didn't go far enough down. I have nothing to to nail it into. So uh, I went ahead and drilled one in right into the metal here to keep this in place. Then I figured, you know, I'll the other ones were screw in the place. I'll put some more in there, and and that should that should do it. I hope. I don't know. The way I look at it is, I'll do the best I can, and if it needs to be fixed, hopefully I can afford professionals to come in here unscrew them do it the right way and screw it back down <laughs> but hopefully I'll get a, quite a few good years out of it we'll see
if this roof doesn't get me, it's these damn Chinese beetles. They fly on me, bite me, and then fly away. These are self-tapping screws, but they still slip up. You gotta be real careful. It's in there, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's up against there. Just enough to get it started. It's not pretty, that's for sure. I have another gasket I gotta put on. Super sticky. Oh, wrong way. All right, see, I get that first little screw down, and then I'm good. I'll make sure it's lined up the best that I can. That looks good. Sometimes I just get cocky. Yep, I don't have a, a hole in here. Well, I have, you can tell, two more pieces to put on. Has to be done today, and I still have to do the trim. I don't know how many hours I have left. I'm gonna have to check. It's gotta get done. Oh, see, I missed some screws, damn it. There's a prey mantis on my roof, and I hate to scare it off because it's gonna try to eat one of those damn Chinese beetles. This insulation is probably going to save me. Now, like I mentioned, this really should be 
you know, nailed onto the roof, I'm sure. But uh, my OSB doesn't touch. So I'm gonna drill it directly into the house. Nope. Not pretty. But I think that will work. All right, that's not going anywhere. This is terrible though. But it'll still drip out and off and out. It'll still work. I know, shameful, I know. See how straight this is going to be. It looks pretty good. Well, I have one more panel to go, and then I'm going to start on the trim. But I got tomorrow off, so I might call it quits for today. Probably should do the last panel, but I'd rather not. I'm tired. I've done enough. I've worked from 10 in the morning and I think it's almost six o'clock. The sun's going down. I'm gonna call it quits. I'll see you tomorrow.